DARPA and the Air Force conducted the final test of their scramjet-powered hypersonic air breathing weapon concept missile, DARPA announced January 30 and said the program's findings will now be used in follow-on efforts. The Air Force is moving forward with two hypersonic weapons, the AGM-183 air-launched rapid response weapon, developed by Lockheed Martin, and the hypersonic attack cruise missile. ARRW has completed several successful test flights, and a contract for HSEM was awarded to Raytheon last September. But despite deciding not to move forward with Hawks, DARPA and the Air Force decided to finish testing. The things we've learned from Hawks will certainly enhance future U.S. Air Force capabilities, Walter Price of the Air Force Research Laboratory said. The Hawks had two versions, a Lockheed Martin Aerojet Rocketdyne missile and Raytheon Northrop Grumman model. Both had successful tests. The Air Force chose to pursue the ARRW and HSEM for its future hypersonic weapons. HSEM in particular will act as a follow-on to Hawks technology. Despite the then imminent contract award for the HSEM, General Duke Z. Richardson, the head of Air Force Material Command, said in August there's value in completing the Hawks testing anyway. In a release, DARPA said the final Hawks flight was the Lockheed Martin variant, which again flew at speeds greater than Mach 5, higher than 60,000 feet, and farther than 300 nautical miles. A DARPA spokesperson told Airspace Forces magazine most of the flight was faster than Mach 5 and occurred sometime in January, but declined to provide further details, citing operational security. While the Air Force is not pursuing Hawks as a weapon, DARPA plans to continue maturing the technology with the more opportunities with Hawks program. Those missiles will expand the operating envelope of the scramjet and provide technology on-ramps for future programs of record, DARPA said the Mohawk program.